hey guys and welcome back to my channel I wanted to come on to kind of film a different type of video which I asked over on my Instagram if you guys were interested in some sort of pantry organization video so kind of an organized with me and a lot of you guys said that you wanted to go ahead and see it so here I am this is how my pantry looks as of now um, it is honestly not the most unorganized mess but I definitely wanted to go ahead and change it and organize it a little bit especially because I have a few organization bins and things to organize stuff like the oil sheets Ziploc bags and all of that so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm going to be using there's a couple of things that I purchased from Amazon which I will leave links for those things down below if you guys are interested but without any further ado let's go ahead and get started all right so I think I'm gonna start with just taking everything out we just got some new K cups so that's the reason why these are just here but I have a bunch of I think I mentioned them. I have a bunch of organizers that I'm going to use in my pantry as well as I bought, well this is where I keep my rice. It's one of the, what's it called? The Good Grips pop containers and I actually got this one from Home Goods along with the smaller one that I'm, all, I'm going to be putting either nuts or maybe even granola in here now that I think about it. But I really like these for storing like my rice. I also have another one for pasta so I'm going to go ahead and bring that to the side and kind of fill that in as well. So I think I'm just going to probably take everything out of these bins and organize them as I go. So let's quickly take everything out. So this is everything that I have from the two upper shelves from my pantry. There's a lot of random stuff, snacks, and a lot of canned goods that I have to put in their respective order. So what I'm going to do is I have one big, I don't know if you guys can tell too much. I have a big kind of bin right here, a clear organization bin that I got from the container store which I'm going to be using to put some of my snacks as well as I have zombies pantry like acrylic organizers that I got from Amazon I have quite a bit of these so I think I'm going to put some snacks and I even have like some skinny pop that I can put I'm sure in here so I'm thinking all the snacks and whatnot will go in here I can put my oatmeal throw away all the boxes that I don't need that's kind of what I think is taking up the most space in my pantry so that's kind of what I'm going to work through I also have some flour and sugar that could be put in their respective canister so I'll also do that and that will give me I think a lot more room in my pantry to organize everything else so let's go ahead and get started with all of these things Oh, you've been touching. Good, good, 
friends so here is a quick look at my small pantry and how the whole organization looks like uh, as you guys can see it still I think it looks a little bit messy but this is what I have to work with and I think it looks pretty good for what it is that I have as a pantry so here as you guys saw me organized I went ahead and used these organizers from Amazon which I will leave everything linked down below these I got from Amazon this one I got from the container store I did put some k-cups behind that because I actually have something else to keep my k-cups next to my Keurig so I thought that it'd be better to put those in the back but up front and center I wanted to keep my oatmeal as well as any snacks for me and Paul so that's kind of what's in the first little shelf here now the second shelf here has a ton of things i feel like this looks the messiest ever but everything does have a place um, i wanted to keep things for like baking and stuff like that or cookies up front and center then um spreads peanut butter stuff that i would put like on fruit there's honey in the back and just like canned fruit and stuff like that right here. I also went ahead and put like my peach tea. I added my sugar here, which wasn't here before. My rice back there and even behind that, I went ahead and put some vinegar, which is something that I don't use every single day. So it's fine to put it back there. So for me, I think this part will still work. Now down here, I think this is one of my favorite spots um, on my all of my Ziploc bags, foiled sheets. And so I wanted to go ahead and split where I had my Ziploc bags from where I had the rest of my pastas here. Um, I have a couple of like boxes. As you guys can see in the corner, I even have some Kraft mac and cheese back there, which I thought would be perfect to put because I don't typically eat that. But that's still here in my pantry if we ever need it. This is, I think, one of my favorite shelves. And then down here is the one that's kind of the most bare, which I really like because I have space to put more things in. But these are basically all of our canned goods. I have bread, flatbread, and tortillas here. And then last but not least, I have these two containers from the container store where I Typically would store potatoes and onions, but as you guys can see, my potatoes were all bad and I'm probably gonna have to purchase more, of course. So this is how those look and I love the size of these. I'm not 100% sure what they are as of now, but I will leave a link for these down below as well. And then behind that, I have some canned chicken noodle soup that I think Paul's mom actually gave us. So I have that back there. Some cup of noodles, which have them right in the back there because I don't think I will be eating those anytime soon, but just in case, once again. And then I have a bag of pinto beans, which I think Paul's mom gave us as well. So that is how this whole pantry is going to look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, do not forget to give it a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already. And hopefully I will get to see you guys on my next video.